Hi guys, it's Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. This channel is about bags, lifestyle and fashion, but mostly bags. I post videos every Friday, sometimes Monday and Wednesday. I'm always on a hunt for the perfect bag. If you're like me, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will guarantee we will enjoy bags together. Around four weeks ago, I unboxed and filmed my beautiful Bottega Veneta small Jody in the fondant color. If you haven't seen this video yet, I'm going to leave the link below in the description box for you to check this out. Today, I'm ready to give you a full detailed review because I've been using this bag constantly. I'm also going to show you how this bag looks on me in the more short section of this video and I will do the quick demonstration of what fits test. By the way, I'm also working on the comparison video between Bottega Veneta Teen Jody and Bottega Veneta Small Jody. Please let me know if you want me to release this video as soon as possible, if there is any interest for this video. At the moment, the Bottega Veneta Jody bag is being retailed in the several sizes. Candy, the teeny weeny beauty, then mini, very popular bag, then teen, small and medium. The medium actually is massive and it's a big difference between the small one and the medium. But then also I'm quite surprised that this size called small. How do you trust those fashion houses if this one is a small size of the bag? The bag has been named after the very popular Hollywood actress and director, Jodie Foster. There is a photograph of her holding the bag and trying to hide herself from paparazzi. She's an absolute icon. And this bag has been on my wish list for a really long time. And the main reason for that, that I couldn't choose between the sizes and the colors. I have been in between teen and the small size, and I have been in between so many colors. Obviously, I have so many black bags and that's why the black color was my first choice initially. But then I told myself, Maria, you have too many black bags. Come on, stop it. It's one of my New Year's resolution for 2024 not to buy any black bags this year. And so far, I'm doing pretty well in this regard. And then the second choice was a navy or a space color. It's a kind of like in between navy and the blue teal color for Bottega Veneta. Then I said no to any light colors because the bag is made of the lambskin leather and any light colors, they are very prone to color transfer for the lambskin leather. So no light colors at all. And then I came across of this beautiful chocolate, deep, dark brown. It is kind of like a black, but it's not black at all. And it's just, it's called fondant by Bottega Veneta. And I love the shade of it. It's neutral, but at the same time, it's not as my usual black color. The color is neutral, but flavorsome. It goes with pretty much everything. And I love how in fashion this color at the moment. And yes, I do love chocolate. I'm a chocolate fan and that's why this deep chocolate color is found a really easy way to my heart. Let's have a look around the bag. As you can see, not much going on here. And that's the usual case with Bottega Veneta bags. We don't see much branding or hardware. The only thing that we have in relation to the hardware here, it's a big gold zipper. And to be honest with you, when I got this bag and I purchased this bag directly from the Bottega Veneta website, I didn't like how shiny this gold hardware. I didn't consider silver hardware for this particular bag, but I didn't expect for hardware to be so sparkly, so shiny, for me, it was a bit too much. Now, after four weeks of using this bag, I kind of got used to that and I'm absolutely fine with this shiny shade of the gold hardware. But I think my expectations was that the hardware is going to be a little bit more aged rather than that. But as I said, now I'm fine with that. No problem at all. There is no visible branding on zipper tag. But if you know, you know, we have a signature Bottega Veneta triangle on the zipper here. What else tells us that it's a Bottega Veneta? Of course, it's a signature intrachato within. 
beautiful, soft, made of the lambskin leather. When you touch this bag, it's just, wow. It's so soft, nice and delicate. But as we all know, lambskin leather is really prone to any scratches color transfer. Maybe it's not the problem with this particular one because it's in a dark brown fondant color. However, as I mentioned previously, that any light colors, please be aware that the lambskin leather is just absorb any other colors, again, due to the delicate nature. Funny story, how founders of Bottega Veneta fashion houses came up with this signature within. As always, it's a story when someone turned their weaknesses into the strength. They didn't have any heavy machinery to cut thick leather and that's why they come up with that hand-woven intrachato pattern, which became a signature of Bottega Veneta for many, many years. And I'm really happy that over the past a few years, Bottega Veneta became the fashion house, the really fashionable and trendy because for many, many years, it's been a, kind of like a classic old fashioned Italian brand, no much than that. Although every single piece string of leather is not glazed or piped, the actual bag is very durable and resistant to any scratches and marks. And I'm really glad that even after the long use, and I do have, I did mention that before, I do have a wallet made of intrachato withing. And this wallet is almost 20 years old. Yes, it was my first, one of my first luxury purchases ever. Guys, even after the 20 years, not a single thread coming out of this intrachato withing there absolutely amazing quality and it's so soft and delicate still like you know when you touch that wow i'm impressed and i think that's the point where i fell in love with the bottega veneta fashion house it's still up till this day it's one of the three my favorite fashion houses and the brands well, let's go back to the bag what else do we have here we have a signature knot here telling us that it's a Jody bag. We don't have anything at the bottom, but it's absolutely fine. I don't think the bag will benefit from having any feetsies. Then we have this slouchy relaxed design. The bag is really like it doesn't have like a proper shape. At the moment I'm demonstrating that empty, but I'm going to put a few heavy big things in there as well and a what fits test so you can see how the bag is changing its shape due to this slouchy structure how changing in shape with something inside in there the other thing that i really like about the jody bag in different sizes because it's fair for all different sizes of the jody bag i like how bottega veneta designers using only two continuous pieces of leather to make up the bag. So you can see that's the only stitching point is over here in the middle of the bag. But the rest of that here, we have a one piece of leather and here just another, just two big pieces of leather. And I can see how here, as much as it possible at the bottom, both pieces and both squares of the withing, they are matching. Can you see that? They are not misshaped. It's not like, but they are totally matching there, creating this perfect composition. Let's have a look at what we have inside there. The zipper is really good quality, really thick and steady. However, when I use the bag, I usually use both hands to open and close that despite how much I have inside the bag as well. So what we have inside, it's a calfskin lining, soft and nice and quite easy to look after. And I think because it's a tone to tone fondant color as well, it's the any scratches is not visible at all. And then we have a big pocket, a zipped pocket as well a massive one. My large iPhone 16 centimeters long easily goes in there and I think even up to 20 centimeters something would easily go there so it's a very good capacity large 
massive pocket inside and apart from that it's not much going on in there like I usually say one big hole and a tiny a little detail which is hidden not into your face it's a Bottega Veneta made in Italy embossing overall bags is one of those quiet luxury stealth wealth examples we don't see much branding and we don't see much going on around the bag but when we touch the bag we know that's a beautiful luxury bag another thing that i should definitely mention when i'm talking about things that i didn't like about the bottega veneta when i received that and it's a quite a strong chemical smell from inside the bag it's nothing it's not the usual your leather smell it's a little bit too strong and guys even after four weeks of using this bag i would believe you know the smell this off gassing will go away however it's still there and i can still smell it like every single time when i open the bag i address that issue to the bottega veneta customer service so, to be honest with you they are not really quick to respond and so far their only advice to me was to please go down to the London boutique so one of their sales assistants can just to check out the bag. My response to that was guys I live too far away from London just to visit London you know to go to one of the boutiques with one of my bags. No I want you to resolve this issue remotely we will see so far it was no response on that but as i said they're not really quick in responding to myself well i will keep you updated how it's all evolving the whole situation i want to believe that Bottega Veneta will resolve that to my satisfaction and i also rely on the certificate of craft which guarantee a lifetime warranty on all Bottega Veneta bags. If we are moving on to the quick demonstration of what fits test for the small Geordie bag, you can clearly see that the capacity is massive. Yes, the bag is called small, but yeah, capacity is large. Therefore, I don't see any sense to show you that my iPhone or the purse or a keys can fit in there. You can clearly see that it's the case. However, how are the big things will go in there? Can laptop fit in there let's check this out and I'm going to start with a large bottle of water and this one is a 750 milliliters let's put it inside and see how this large heavy item affect the structure of the bag because it's very slouchy and has this relaxed vibe so as you can see it easily goes in there but at the same time it is heavy but it doesn't change the structure of the bag the shape of the bag dramatically it's still draping really gracefully and beautifully let's try a laptop despite the fact that in my opinion Bottega Veneta small Jody bag is a perfect everyday bag I wouldn't call that a perfect work bag if you have to carry a laptop with you and I'm going to demonstrate that to you just now so it's a 13 inches laptop yes it is going there easily I wouldn't say there is any much struggle there we can zip it up no problem but look at that first of all the overall weight of the empty small Jody is a 770 grams and we're adding on quite a heavy laptop there so the bag is now you can work out with that bag now yep that probably would work better but look how misshaped it is it is possible to wear that like this but I just don't like how the bag is losing this graceful drapes if we want to try something half a size of the laptop for example a tablet unfortunately i don't have any tablets however the nearest thing that i have it's a nintendo switch so let's have a look how it's going in small geordie easily and again same as the big bottle of water we can see that the bag is keeping its shape 
perfectly. My favorite thing about small Geordie bag is that shoulder drop. It's big, it's spacious, it allows me to put the bag comfortably on my shoulder and wear that with any bulky outfits as well. I do tend to wear a lot of oversized coats or a jacket recently or a puffer jacket. As we all know the Scottish weather is not the best weather in the world and that's why I always need to think about layers and bigger cardigans, jackets as I mentioned. Yeah. And that's why this bigger shoulder job and a bigger compared to the teen size of the Geordie bag, it's a deal breaker for me. And the other thing, it's a wider shoulder strap as well. In the combination with the bigger shoulder job, it allows the bag to sit really comfortably. And if I don't overstaff that, I have just my regular combo of essentials. Guys, even on the really long walks over two hours, I don't need to pull the bag or rearrange that. I literally counted on one of my walks with the dogs how many times I had to touch the shoulder strap trying to find this comfortable position on my shoulder. And I was wearing quite a big coat at that point as well. So. I counted that and it was only three times in the space of two hours when I had to kind of like, you know, to adjust or rearrange my bag on my shoulder. So it wasn't even the situation when I had to pull the bag, which was tend to slide down. No, it was just to find this more comfortable position around my shoulder. Don't forget that the bag is kind of like a on the heavy side but it's a large bag you know so 770 grams overall of empty bag is quite understandable and since we start talking how small Jody is sitting on my shoulder and it's a mostly a shoulder bag it's time to move to the watch short section of this video I'm going to show you how this bag looks on me in this section of this video, I'm going to show you how Bottega Veneta Small Jody looks on me. I'm 5'3", 163 centimeters tall, and I usually wear size 10 UK. Since it's a shoulder bag, the main purpose of it is to wear on your shoulder, right or left. Unfortunately, you can't wear that crossbody my favorite way. However, I find that it sits really comfortably on the crook of your arm. Even if you're wearing a bulkier outfit, oversized puffer jacket or oversized coat. I also like how it fits comfortably into your hand. One of my favorite ways to wear this bag. And I also find that to the, due to the slouchy nature of the bag, this design, it's really cool sometimes to wear that as a little, not little, clutch under your armpit. To conclude, guys, I just want to say that I'm very happy with my purchase of Bottega Veneta Small Jody after four weeks of the constant use. Yes, there is the minor thing that I'm complaining at the moment and that's this of gassing a really strong chemical smell and I hopefully I would be able to resolve that issue with the Bottega Veneta customer service really soon and successfully. But overall, I'm very happy. I'm happy about the fondant color that I went for. It's flavorsome and neutral, beautiful, deep chocolate color and goes so well with everything in my wardrobe at the moment. I'm very happy about the small size comparing to the teen size. And I'm going to talk more about that in my comparison video between, between Bottega Veneta small size and Bottega Veneta teen size. And I'm very happy that I added on another Bottega Veneta bag into my collection. I did say that many, many times. Bottega Veneta is one of my favorite fashion houses and the brands out there. And that's me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know where to find thumbs up, subscribe button, notification bell, and I will see you next time. Bye.